Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Amore and Tasia. Today's video is going to be a rant. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm tired and I'm ready to spill the tea. Okay, so before I get into my personal story with these people and how I got scammed, first of all, half of these gurus on here are not modeling their hair. For instance, this is a page from My Chic Wigs, who is also owned by Double Leaf Wig. And I know for a fact, this website, DoubleLeafWig.com, Kennedy Simone, did not promote their hair company. This is just, they just put her face on there and they're selling these wigs for $150 to $200 and the hair is not the exact same quality at all, okay? So moving on, this is an email from China Lace Wig. Obviously this is their name, but they were trying to get me to promote a wig from Double Leaf Wig. So this is how I caught them up. This is the name Kudao, whatever that is. That's a Chinese factory that holds most of these wig companies on YouTube, as well as Uni's hair, as well as Long Key hair, Ali Julia hair, and a, a bunch of others. Another brand that is advertising, false advertising. This girl here is my friend Chrissy Cousin. And for a fact, this is not their hair company. She even has her own hair company. So yes, this is these are examples of their fraudulent ways. And honestly, a lot of YouTubers that promote these wigs are getting paid. They just don't put it in their descriptions box. But some of them may not know that these companies are scamming and just switching names. And some of them may know and just don't care. But I'm just uploading this video to let you guys know. So, um, here's the thing. I am tired of being scammed. I really am. A lot of these Chinese, specifically, these Chinese AliExpress slash eBay slash, um, girl, uh, wig companies, beauty supply store owners, a lot of them scam a lot of black women and it's so annoying to this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and be honest, which I have always been. Um, most of these reviews that you see on these hair companies, most of them are sponsored. Okay. Most of them are sponsored. Some of them, like for people who have like kind of low views, sometimes like myself, they send us these things and we do free reviews for them in exchange for more popularity because of their name, which is what I was doing at one point. But I did not know, honestly, that these people actually have, I just realized that these same, the same Chinese factory called K Kidawa, whatever, I'm going to post it on the screen. They, they literally have the same factory for over 10 of these hair companies and as well as these wig companies. So a lot of people who have been bashing these companies and saying that they have terrible hair, these people go and change their names. So I didn't realize until this week that I actually received packages from them and I noticed that they had the same name, same exact name, same address. And I said, these people are scamming. So I Googled, I looked on YouTube to see if other creators were um, creating content and the truth is, like, for instance, my chic rigs, they tried, they offered me $300, 350 actually. So I said, okay, cool. I've been wanting to try these wigs anyway to see, you know, the quality of them. So they got upset because I didn't want to post the video after I found out that they were using the same company's name, like from the same place. So they went and told PayPal that they went and told PayPal that I refused to do a video and they paid me for a service. I said, okay. I actually did. I've done a video for you guys in the past. This isn't my first time doing it. This is the second time. So needless to say, I didn't even have to put up the review in the first place. But the fact that I even gave them the link, you guys, you, you guys have it. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet because it's just, it's like a private video that I have not shared yet. So I still took the time to actually create the video for them. So they got upset because I don't want to release it to the public. Well, I at least made the video. So I don't care about you guys' money. But the fact that they're lying and saying that I never made it, and then they try to say that I scammed, how am I scamming? So they put my business on hold because of, you know, how PayPal does it, where if someone has an issue with you, then that puts all of your money on hold, everything. So that's where I'm at now with them. So I'm like, you have the nerve. To sit up here and your favorite YouTubers, all of them that have uploaded a video from my first wig, double leaf wig as well, and especially my she wigs, they are all under the same company. I know for a fact Eunice, as well as uh, Ali Julia hair, as well as Long Key hair, they all have the same, 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 same factory. I even text one of them and I said, you, you're trying to send me hair from the same company that just sent me hair last week. 
back when I was doing reviews for them, and they said, well, this guy said, well, well, don't please don't say anything, but yes, that's true. So you mean to tell me you're actually scam that's scamming. If you know that this your company has bad reviews, you're going to completely keep selling and then open another business with a different name and then steal pictures like from my Instagram and use them and say that that's you know from me. That's crazy. Even um a lot of people have been a lot of Chinese companies have been stealing Beauty by JJ's pictures, Dominique's pictures from she does like a lot of wigs. Uh, they don't really steal Kim, the Chic Natural. They don't steal hers as much, but they steal the Glam Twins. And I'm like, the, the freaking Glam Twins do not even wear extensions. So it, it's just ridiculous how much they steal. And they, they post these companies from the same factories. And they put, I know for a fact, they had my my picture several times on there. But I had to reach out to them and tell them to take it down or I'm going to sue. And so they deleted it. But it's just sad and sickening how these Chinese companies do us. It's just sickening. I'm just really tired of it. And I'm tired of seeing these reviews. And I'm like, I I always tell the truth. In all of my wig videos, in the last two that I did, I told you guys, that hair is just like Beauty Supply Store hair. And it is. It's just like the wigs that you buy from Beauty Supply Store. You never heard me once say that this is virgin hair. I said this is some good quality human hair that you can get from the Beauty Supply Store that might last you two months. Or uh, longer than that, if you know how to take care of your hair and if you don't sleep in it every night or depending on how you, you know, upkeep it or depending on the style. If it's a short bob, then yes, you can get away with some months. But if it's long, wavy hair, like for my sheep wigs, no girl, the hair is trash. That Qdawa Chinese factory hair is trash. Same is from uh, AliExpress. A lot of people have talked about Eunice. Some of them have said it's good, some have said it's bad. But I know for a fact the long key, like I said, all of them have the same manufacturers, same factory, same factory. And it's just not right. So I just want to go ahead and tell you, your favorite YouTubers, including myself, if you've seen a wig video, they were there getting paid facts. This same hair company, my first wigs, they offered me $1,200 to do four videos for them. I cut them short. I said, nope, I'm good. I don't have nothing to do with that, but I just feel like it's just sad that people do that. And they scam people and they don't send them back their money when they do disputes. I just got scammed yesterday by a girl that had claimed to have been watching me. She lied and said I actually sent her a complete different unit when she ordered a custom unit. And I sent her the picture before I sent it to her and she liked it. So I'm like, girl, she and she's so scandalous. She didn't want to file a dispute with PayPal because she knew I had the receipts. She went and filed and lied to her bank and said that I sent her the wrong item. So that's why I'm I'm just kind of over this whole hair scheme because another girl from Miami scammed me like that. But last time that was three hundred fifty dollars. This time it's two hundred and forty. So on top of this girl that's trying to like on some scam type stuff with me now, I have these Chinese people that are lying, upset that I won't post their videos because they're frauds. Like it's like I can't win. So as far as my hair company, I do have a sale, but I had to open up a whole other account for that. Like, I shouldn't have to do that. PayPal is so silly sometimes. It's like I have proof. I have emails and messages from me and these people. Why is it that you guys don't see this? And then when I see all these other reviews pop up, I'm like... So out of obligation, the last two videos I just did, though, I actually like those companies, Wild African, and um, I forgot the other's name. But I've seen only good things about them, and I actually like the quality of those wigs. They remind me of the kind that are at the beauty supply store, but they cost a little more because they, they are human hair. Like, they take heat and stuff like that. But I really believe that those others, my cheek wigs and all them other folks, mm, no. Another company, wow, Ebony, they're trying to work with me. I'm like, no, I don't care how much money. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not here for that. I don't like the fact that you guys are sending me these wigs from the same company and trying to make it seem like you guys are different companies. That's not right. Um, another, well, Africa had a different name, so that's why I didn't bring them up, but I'm just over it. I'm really over the whole tired wig game. I'm just over it. That's why I really don't, like the wigs that I sell, they're just the ones that I have made and that you guys have seen and you guys have asked me about them. I'm, I'm really ready to just shut the whole thing down and go after my real passion more so making clothes as a designer like I used to and singing girl because I have other talents I don't have to have this so I just want to vent and tell you guys the truth about YouTube and a lot of YouTubers are getting paid just by doing these reviews that's how they pay their rent that's how they pay their bills 
vice versa. So I don't want you guys to be swindled though. I don't honestly know if they send you guys different products. I don't think that's the case. Because I, well, when I did purchase $250 from uh, a girl named Jayla, she swore that this company called v Mitch Hair was the bomb. I spent $250 in 2011 or 10 and their hair was trash. It did not even last for two weeks. And I just had to go with it. I, I threw the hair away. So I, I stopped listening to YouTubers for hair advice. I started listening to people on YouTube who actually purchased it. So, you know, there's some YouTubers that are honest and they'll tell you the truth. And I'm not just saying me, there's some others, but mm, I'm straight. I don't want nobody here, girl. I'm tired. This is another reason why a lot of black owned, minority owned hair companies cannot survive is because these Chinese people are paying all of everybody to promote for them. That's well and good. But here's the thing. They're lying. A lot of them are lying. The people who I watch now, I know for a fact they're getting paid by unis. I know they get paid a certain amount of money, let's say at least $1,200 to maybe $2,500 a month just to make four to five videos or maybe two to three videos every month promoting their hair. And of course, they can only say good things. And if you notice that these same YouTubers and same Instagram influencers always change their hair out. Within a month, they change their hair four times, which means you haven't even worn this hair for a week yet to tell me that this is good hair. And I'm talking about specifically Eunice because I know how much. I told y'all I have tea, honey. I know what they offered me and I declined it. And I know my sheet wigs also pays a lot of YouTubers per month because they offer me 1200 and I only have 100,000 subscribers. And I get... My views are shaky. Sometimes they're good. It depends on what genre, you know, or what niche I'm doing videos on. But I'm not hating. Trust me. Because like I said, if I wanted to jump on the hair and weave bandwagon, I can abandon my hair company like some others have done and been promoting hair. That's fine. But I don't want that. That's the thing. So I just don't think that that's right. And I've been seeing way too many people comment that their hair, you know, is trash that they're struggling college students. Some of them are struggling moms. I just think that that's wrong. I don't think that you should take money on this platform and advise somebody to do something that you wouldn't do yourself. These same girls don't even pay for their hair. They wouldn't pay for their hair because they don't even believe in the quality themselves. So, but I don't know about Eunice's quality now, but back then I said that they had some good hair, but I don't, I don't know about now. I've seen so many bad reviews. I don't know. But... All I'm saying is that when these people only upload a certain brand for overtime, they're being paid. Most of the time, they're being paid. And they do not put that in their descriptions box. So it is what it is. However they eat, that's on them. I'm not hating on the next person. But I'm exposing these dusty Chinese companies. They always scamming black culture, stealing stuff from us, selling it to us, lying to us, all that kind of stuff. I'm tired of that, girl. I'm just tired. They steal white culture. They steal all these designers from Americans. I mean, American designers, and they go bootleg and put it on AliExpress for $5. Girl, that's just wrong to me. That's just so wrong. And they put up fake pictures on on uh, Instagram and um, AliExpress and eBay. I'm like, y'all a mess. These Chinese folks need to be stopped. Donald Trump needs to go after them. So comment below if you've had any experiences with these hair companies or what hair companies that we should stay away from. Vice versa, if you know any good hair companies, that's fine. I don't care if it, if it is another hair company. Just because I have one does not mean that everybody else can't eat. If they have a good hair company, then go ahead and say it. If they're trash, don't put that mess on my page. I don't want to hear that because you won't get me cussed out. I don't want to be gone off on because of bad reviews. So, like I said, <laughs> comment below the truth and your experiences. Anybody that's scamming people on YouTube, I don't care if it is a favorite property of YouTube. If they scam me, put them down in the comment section. And we can get justice, girl. Thank you guys for watching. I wish you all well. See you guys in my next video.